Hi, this is the case of VAT's thoracic duct ligation. So, 16 year male with history of fall from height with head injury. Uh, on examination, patient was found to have right sided massive pleural effusion for which ICD was placed. The ICD drained milky white fluid with elevated triglycerides suggestive of a chylothorax. In view of severe head injury, initially the patient was managed conservatively. However, the output was persistently high. After the initial stabilization, the patient underwent a lymphangiographic embolization. But however, the output continued to be on the higher side, more than 2 liters. So the patient was planned for thoracoscopic exploration. On thoracoscopy, we can see that there was significant amount of residual fluid within the pleural cavity and there was fibrinous exudate as well because of long-standing chylothorax. The surgery was done uh, at 8 days of index, at 8 days of uh, the injury. After the fluid was sucked out, the pleural cavity was examined. At this level, we can see that there is a breach in the mediastinal pleura indicating the site of injury. There was some fluid seeping out from that area. However, the thoracic duct could not be clearly seen. This appears to be the area of leak. At this point, we can see an opening from where the fluid is leaking out. We are making a, we are extending the pleural incision to delineate the proximal and distal ends of the thoracic duct. ICG was given in this patient in the web spaces and also in the inguinal region. However, it was not of much use in this patient. The mediastinal pleura is incised to trace the proximal and distal part of the thoracic duct. point we can see the cephalate portion of the thoracic duct with some tributaries draining into it. In this case both the cephalate and the caudal portions of the thoracic duct needs to be clipped. We can see that there is a complete transection of the thoracic duct and the chyle leaking from the caudal end of thoracic duct. cephalate portion is being dissected such that it can be clipped. We can see the lumen of the thoracic duct here. The caudal part of thoracic duct will now be mobilized such that adequate clipping or suturing can be carried out. mobilizing the thoracic duct. Blunt trauma with chylothorax is a relatively very uncommon presentation. The mechanism of injury, injury being hyperextension re leading to shearing of the thoracic duct. Clipping of cephalate part of the duct. caudal part of thoracic duct is now clipped using a hemolock. After clipping we can see that there is no leak of fluid from the site of injury. A 
lavage was given and icd was inserted post op course was uneventful and on pod1 the output was only 100 ml